Uh, it is 4.30 in the morning and I don't even know where we are. All I know is I need to get this lazy lump up before we miss our flight. How could we forget the COVID test? I don't know. So it was a three hour flight and then a three hour coach journey to get up to the mountains of Zakopane. Zakopane? Zakopane. 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 And I'm not sure if it was just the 4 a.m. start or the fact that we're just not 18 anymore, but we could just not wait to get off that coach. Now, obviously the two of us couldn't go on holiday without at least one major problem. Uh, in this case, we've actually got two problems. The first of which was the other night when I tried on my ski pants for the first time in years only to find out that I'm a bit fatter than I used to be. So I've come in jeans and jeans only. So we're hoping we can get some ski trousers today for skiing tomorrow. The second and much bigger problem is the skiing itself because there's no snow. It's about 20 degrees here. Everyone's in t-shirts and shorts and it's genuinely hot. It's just warm. It just feels like... Summer. It feels like close to summer. It feels like a Scottish summer. Yeah, I think so. And when we asked the guy on reception about the skiing... What did he say? Well, he wasn't impressed. Skiing? This time here? No way. No, 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 no skiing. here. No, 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 no ski. Skiing. No, not here. So... Looks good. Only us would book a ski holiday to a place where there's not actually any snow. I bought a new ski jacket, so I'm going skiing somewhere. <laughs> oh, and problem number three is that we've lost our travel adapter. Our only travel adapter. No, I found it. Oh, yes. <laughs> One travel adapter coming up. Good timing. I know. So the reason we're actually in Zakopan is because a couple of months ago we decided to book to go to Whistler in Canada skiing but because Whistler's a really expensive, big resort, the mountains are really high and we decided it'd be good for me to get some lessons in beforehand but when we looked at all the dry slopes and things around Wales they were just total rubbish really. They were really really expensive, some of them were up to like £70 an hour so when we asked around a couple of our friends recommended we come to uh, Zakopan. Apparently it's really cheap ski lessons, really cheap rental equipment, great for beginners so sounds perfect for someone like me who can't actually ski. <laughs> so that is why we're here. We booked two hotels for our five night stay in Zakopane. Our first hotel was a small boutique with just 20 rooms and set right in the heart of the village. We loved that we had a top floor room with a view over the mountains and the main village stroll below us and for just £45 a night it felt like unbelievable value. We set off to explore the village and see if we could find some ski pants for David and a nice place to get some food. Although we quickly realised Zakopane didn't have a lot of options for vegetarians, they make up for it with a great selection of rooftop bars and restaurants. Happy holidays! First beer holidays! So good news, we found some snow, 
found some ski pants. I've had some breakfast this morning, which was delicious. Uh, we only had to trek through about nine or ten different shops to find me some ski pants. It was the very last of last season's ski gear, uh, but we did get a good discount. Um, and in regards to the snow, it turns out that it was only our resort that was closed for the season. Uh, the neighbouring resorts that were about a couple kilometres away are still open. Not these ones. We're going to call these our day three slopes. Uh, these are uh, today's slopes. So I've decided to um, brave the ski slopes today with an instructor. It's the first ever time on skis, so it's yeah. going to be eventful. Right, let's go get some ski gear. So, first disaster of the day, we just went into the ski shop. Turns out you need ID to rent a pair of skis, which we don't have. And we just tracked half an hour to get here. Um, we couldn't find a taxi, so we thought we'd try again at another ski hire place and bust out our best puppy dog eyes. Although they weren't happy about it, they reluctantly accepted a photo of our ID instead, and we were back in business. They also had some pretty sweet tunes. Yeah. Huh? Do this for me. What do you need to pull for? Is it too nice? The guy is laughing at me. Got the goods. Could barely carry them. Now, when I said I didn't know how to ski, I really meant it. And although it was funny at first that I couldn't work out the ski boots, I really started getting nervous when we actually got to the slopes. The front of your boot goes into this first, okay? And then push down and the back will clip in. Push, push, push hard. There you go. Perfect, you've got one ski on. Okay. Send this to my mum. So I guess worst case, I just fall off the lift. Okay? Or worst case, you fall off the lift. But that is definitely the worst case. Are they tightening these sticks? So no. No, you should be like, holding on to them. Okay, right, you, you can use that for balance. Hold them, no, hold them under, hold them under. No, no, like, like. <laughs> no, like this, you need to hold them like this. However, despite all my expert, highly professional advice, it turned out it was me who had the first slip of the day. Before even getting my board on. That's probably going to happen a lot today. Right. Ready? What do you think? There we go. Good job. Yay! We did it. Our first ever ski lift. I'm fucking traumatized. <laughs> How the hell do you think I'm going to get off this? <laughs> no, seriously. We'll work out. We'll watch people on stuff. These guys are quite close. Get your snowboard on your own side. If I ever move. Now watch this people. No, you're fine. You're just parallel. Okay, let it push you. And then you just there you go. You're just gonna go off to the right like that, like she did, okay? Just remember snow plow. Don't stand up yet. Alright, now zoom up and then off to the plow. Nailed it. Look. I thought for a second that was going to be a disaster. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Snow plow, snow plow, snow plow. Snow plow. <laughs> it's not easy. That's actually a really... There we go. Right, here's your stick. It's called a pole, by the way. Here you go. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna have to help me get off. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Oh no! <laughs> you're gonna have to help okay. me get off. I, I don't know how to help. Just leave me down here. That's good. Doing well, how's your first skiing going? Fun. Yeah, you like it? Oh 
Yeah, that's good. It's still plow, it's still plow, it's still plow. It's still plow, it's still plow. Keep going. Yeah, we're gonna stop at the bottom. I just like that's good. There you go, we're getting the hang of it now, eh? Yay, you made it down. Give high five. So babe, second run done, how do you feel? No falling. No falling, woo! <laughs> I got all the way down, didn't fall once. Good job. So fun, I love it. Much better so already. Excited. Easier already on the second yeah, time? Yeah, easier already, yeah. I'm not scared of falling now. It's not, for, it's not sore when you fall or anything either. No, it is really like, kind of soft. Yeah. I think it's artificial snow actually. Is it? It seems a little bit suspicious that <laughs> this is all snow. But all of that is no snow. See, by the end of the day, you'll be a pro. No. We're going to be up on these hills by the end of the day, by the afternoon. What do you think? Start to get carried away now, shall we? So, video diary. How long have we been on the slopes? An hour. hour and a half? Yeah. Abby's on a red run. Abby's on a red and run. Doing awful. No, she's a natural. favorite things about this resort, especially for beginners, is that oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so, so quiet. I mean, we've been, I mean, I've been skiing in the Alps and it's, it's heaving and then you go to Canada, it's heaving. But this, I mean, no one's even here. Like this is open. So nice. Every like, chair no one. just yourself. Just you, us. You can't even imagine waiting in a queue or, or anything because it's just so quiet. And the best thing about it, is that no one's here to see me fall over every two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> no, you did so well, babe. I mean, the, fir the first run, there was, there was a couple of spills. But by the end, first ever red run. No bother. I know. I know. Two times in the It's very scary, but I'm, I'm very into it. I'm loving it. I know. It's so fun. Natural skier. Oh. I'm going to be so ready for Canada by the end Just of this. Just bigging me up. Trust me. Oh. Where's the jump park? <laughs> Good morning! We are ready today like a couple of adventurers. Backpacks on. We've made the decision to take all of our camera gear on our ski adventure today. Feeling brave. Feeling brave. Better not fall over with all of that on your back. Yep. Um, so we're just about to check out of this first hotel. Uh, check into our new one, drop off our bags and then grab some coffee, some breakfast and hit the slopes for ski day two. Hi hotel number one. After just two days on the slopes, Abby was getting the hang of red runs and we head back to the hotel confident with her progress. Obviously we couldn't pass up the chance to act like complete tourists at the huge Zakopan sign first though. Thank you. 
That's a bougie hotel. We were pretty impressed with our standard room and hit up the spa to check out some of the other hotel facilities. And then, purely for reviewing purposes, we thought we'd try out the hotel bar as well. snowed in a couple of weeks. It's very icy, icy. It's like sheet ice, uh, very slippy. Um, probably just not the ideal conditions today for a total beginner. So. Yeah, we're very sad. We're very, very upset. But it's okay. I'm gonna cheer up, get a beer in you. Um, it's still a really nice place to sit and chill. Yeah, it it's a beautiful be. view. And um, yeah, we'll have another crack at it tomorrow. Look at this uh, very blurry, no signal, uh, <laughs> pixelated map on the internet. Uh, we thought all these bits were uh, ski slopes, ski grades. You know, red yeah. runs, green runs, blue runs. But it turns out all of them are hiking trails. And the only ski runs that they have are this black run here and this other black run here. <laughs> uh, so now you can probably understand why I couldn't go down. Okay, so I decided to spend the afternoon at this weird beer thing that we saw online. 
Uh, it's like a beer spa thing, and we don't really know, partly because the whole website's in Polish, what it's about. Are we in baths drinking beer? Or is <laughs> the, do you sit in the beer? We, we don't really know. And that's enough to get us excited. Okay. Taking 27 years, but we finally found a beer that Abby doesn't like. I'll show you. Do you know what? Um, it's all in Polish, so I don't know what the fuck it is. But it's not our kind of thing. I know David would not like it either. Ah, 
Hi. <laughs> Man, I'm steamboat. I should have had lunch first. <laughs> beer pop, beer pop, beer pop, beer pop, beer pop, beer pop. Beer pop. <laughs> Wrap you up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. really See you good. Later. I must mean exit in Polish. What do we think? I think I'm drunk. So I think it's only like maybe 4 p.m. here. Oh man, I'm sure man. ready for daylight. I think we're a bit drunk for it to be 4 p.m. Just a tad. What do we think? Oh, uh, seven pints in one hour. We managed hour, it. Apart from the hours. stuff you guys see me let roar in the ah. We cheaty pint. Yeah. Apart from that. Hello. Six pints in what, an hour and 20, maybe? Guys, I think if you were in this area, this place, we would, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's um, really, really good, actually. Yeah, five yeah. out of five, TripAdvisor star. So a five out of five in a, you don't often get a five out of five from us. My only small critic would be that I wasn't 100% convinced that the bath was filled with beer, but- It's um, definitely not entirely beer. No. So now we are off to find one of our final bars of the holiday. I know. This is normally where you'd say the name, but you don't know the name, so... Do you know what? In Polish, everything is a lot more difficult than it would be in even like French or Spanish or something. Seems a lot easier to understand. Yeah. But um, yeah, Good we'll show you. Wish me luck. So already we're lost. Can't find the bar. Okay, let's do it. This is how you know it's a hard um, pub to find slash a very local place and somewhere you definitely want to go. We've walked back and forth on this street at least five times already. <laughs> is it behind the street? They said hidden gem, man. Go on then, David. Just Heard me. you were the map person. I am the map person. I'll follow you then, child sweetheart. We're following the map person. Here he goes. In his bright orange north face. Oh, he found it. So every time uh, we like to get a little Polaroid when we go on holiday uh, with our, our film camera and that ends up going in the wall in our kitchen. Polaroid set up. Here we go. Boop. Oh my god, you can't go again? No. Oh god, I didn't know that. That's how these things work. Oh, it's got a timer as well. Do it, just do it, just do it. What? Go. I didn't realise that was a... Oh, give me another one, I could go again. Do you have another one? Oh, you got another one, surely. 